hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you how to make a cream out of coffee now this doesn't contain any milk nor whipped cream so this is gluten free vegan friendly and milk free you're just gonna need three ingredients and you're done it's so so easy and anybody at all can do it so without wasting much time let's just get started Now to start, you're gonna need some cold water. This is very, very essential and it needs to be chilling cold. I put my water in the deep freezer, so it's very, very cold. I'm gonna use one cup of cold water. Then I'm gonna come in with one cup of coffee. This is soluble coffee. Finally, I'm going to come in with one cup of sugar. I'm using brown sugar. You can use white sugar if you want. So you should know that we're using one cup of everything. Now, afterwards, this is the fun part. I'm just going to come in with my mixer and whip everything up. I'm just going to whip it up till it turns creamy. So as you can see, it is turning creamy and it looks so silky and it looks so good. Now another essential thing you need is the mixer. You cannot do this without a mixer, it's not going to come out good. Also I must say, you know, with the sugar, if you want more, you can add more. If you want less, you can add less. It's just up to you. But you should know coffee is so, so bitter and if you don't add enough sugar, you cannot eat this. So as you can see, it looks so good. It is so light, it is so fluffy, you know, it's so silky. It looks like whipped cream, but this is just coffee, water and sugar. So I'm just going to transfer it into a bowl. And ladies and gentlemen, our coffee mousse is ready. As you can see, it was so, so easy to make. And the good thing about it is that you can keep this in the freezer for a long time. And when you take it out, it's still gonna be this soft. It's still gonna be creamy and it's not gonna harden up. I usually like to eat this like an ice cream or I just like to mix it up with my milk. If you heat up your milk in the morning, you can just use one tablespoon of this and guys, it's so, so good. And it tastes so good with biscuits too. So this is it guys, you must try this. What are you waiting for? Just get into the kitchen and get started. So I hope you like this video and if you've not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button right now. Do not forget to share this video with your family and friends. And until next time, I'm going to see you with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.